Mothra figure. Um, so, uh, this week, uh, NECA released uh, another figure in their set of, uh, of Godzilla toys that look like posters from the movies. They're doing both classic um, Godzilla movies and the current MonsterVerse. Um, so, they released the Mothra figure. Um, this one is supposed to be based on this poster from the movie release, uh, from the, uh, King of the Monsters series. Uh, so I was pretty excited to check it out. Normally the NECA figures are really good, um, pretty articulated. Um, I have a few of the other Godzilla ones. And as someone who doesn't have a lot of Mothra toys, I was pretty stoked to check it out. So we've got the poster on the front. We've got the list of the other monsters on the back. Um, it's a window box. And we got the figure inside. So I'm just going to take that. Uh, I'm going to say this right away. I was pretty disappointed about this figure. Um, I didn't look too much into it before it shipped. Uh, I was just like, ooh, a Mothra toy. Uh, this figure comes with a pretty cool base. It's got the, uh, the egg from the movie in it. It's got the classic uh, clear standee, which is pretty standard for Godzilla toys that have either um, like atomic breath attachments or uh, sometimes they have extra sets of, of little helicopters and stuff to give the monsters scale. I really like those. Um, it's their way of having an invisible stand. Uh, clear plastic definitely isn't invisible, but I understand the illusion. Sorry. Cracklin. So, I guess what they were trying to say with this figure is that the Mothra in the movie has big wings. Because this, uh, this figure is mostly wing. Uh, I actually, so what they, what they advertise in this is articulated wings, um, which just means that the wings are affixed on a ball joint uh, and they can go up and down. Uh, in terms of posability, the base figure uh, has none. Um, her little mandibles don't really move much. Uh, you can get a little bit of upward stroke on these front ones here, but that's about it. Um, they seem pretty delicate. Uh, I imagine you could, you could break the small plastic here. Uh, pretty easily. I don't want to try to manipulate it too too much um, So basically all we're dealing with here is two uh, big pieces of plastic That move up and down um, And then these little bits here that move around her uh, in terms of scale even with uh, With these small uh, body this doesn't really make sense. Uh, her wings should definitely be wider uh, to support how long her body is. Uh, so the figure does seem pretty awkward, uh, but I'm gonna try and put her in the stand anyway, why not? Uh, I think it's probably meant to hold her body in between the leg bits um, but it doesn't really do a good job of this and the wings don't really stay in a halfway spot so what we're ending up with here is a very awkward uh, very awkward pose indeed if she even is going to stay up there when I take my hands off, which remains to be seen. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. 
So I suppose it's supposed to look like she's coming out of her egg. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this for uh, for the standard NECA $30 figure. I've definitely gotten some heftier and more poseable figures from NECA before. Um, if you're a fan of the sort of like statue display model toys, I suppose. But because the base isn't really anything to remark on here, uh, and because the figure itself doesn't come with any uh, specific details other than being the color palette of the uh, of the poster, it's uh, not really doing much for me. I gotta say, I gotta say, it reads a little bit like an overpriced Burger King figure. And uh, if I got this in a Happy Meal, I guess I'd be pretty stoked. But uh, since I bought this as a collectible. I'm going to give it one Mothra out of five. <laughs>